Well, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. So, we are going to uh, continue this mission with our little buddies, the Wubaboos. Oh my god, they're so cute. Alright, so, to the storage zone. How the fuck do we get over there? Hold up. <laughs> Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Am I hearing? I thought I was hearing, like, treasure or something. Ah, uh, no, leave me alone. safe or not ah. okay so if I do that hello giant wubba boo Nope, that doesn't help. Ah. Oh, getting through this place sucks. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <sighs> okay. I just really don't want to fight that guy right now because that's not the point of this video. The white thing was up here. Ah! I've done this before. I know I have. I just don't remember the correct path through. So do I need that that one down there? Is that it? Yes. All right. Although... Oh, the layout of this room sucks so bad. Who designed this? What is the point? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, come over here, hit this. And then over here. So many wobbaboos, they seem to be gathered around something. Let's have a look. Hey, big guy. On the dusty floor of the room, at a quiet corner of the disposal site, a card can be seen glimmering faintly. The special access card is vaguely distinguishable from the others. The corners are chipped and the writings are worn out. It's unclear if it works. When the light is at a certain angle, the words thousand stars can be 
vaguely seen printed on the card. Oh, don't know what that's for. But I will most certainly accept an access card. Oh, fuck yeah. So, this is what it is. So, what exactly happened? Do you still remember what was written in the observation on Wobbaboo behavior? What kind of Wobbaboo would gather in an empty room? I don't know. Sad? Sad Wobbaboos will gather in an empty room and share their unhappy thoughts. Not only that, the name Ikurashu is carved on the memorial stone they are guarding in this room. The carving looks new. It must have been built recently. These Wobbaboos are were gathering his belongings not to pr prank their previous caretaker and not to destroy order on the space station. They were mourning a late friend. Hmm. Looks like this researcher named Ekura Shu perished during the Legion's invasion. No wonder neither Adler nor I seemed to be able to recall the name. I didn't think Wobbaboos, the seemingly feral and heartless astral spirits, would cherish friendship more so than the humans do on the space station. Well, these little guys don't seem to be that feral. Yes, you're right. They are indeed not feral. Come to think of it, they even seem a bit cute. Which reminds me, we should set up a similar type of memorial site for those who have lost their lives under the stampede of the Antimatter Legion, so as to offer our condolences on behalf of the, sta the station. As for Ekura Shu's memorial stone, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have it stand here for eternity. With belongings gathered and the memorial site secured, the ceremony is now complete. The Wobbaboos can now be appeased. But why does it seem that they still have no intention to leave? Why don't we just let them be? Shying away from this simply won't do any good to lessen their sorrow. Let me think. Oh, I've got an idea. Do you know how to take a picture? Duh. A picture of Wobbaboos gathering in front of the memorial... A picture of the giant Wobbaboo guarding the place by itself, and a picture of a couple of Wobbaboos sharing their grief. I hope you can take a few pictures that would fit these descriptions, so we can memorialize them. Eternalizing their friendship to make it resilient and enduring is what I think will truly leave Wobbaboos at peace. of the giant Wobbaboo and oh they're there if we have pictures that we can keep forever maybe the Wobbaboos can finally fulfill their wish the pictures are all done Thank you so much. I didn't expect these little things, which were often mistaken for specters, to have a soft side. Looking at these pictures, I think it's time they leave. It all began with this collective goal of theirs, and now that it is finally realized, they should be able to continue living in peaceful coexistence with the staff members. But there is still one last thing. This is a small token of appreciation for being such a kind witness to all of this. Please take it. Adler said that the Wobbaboos prepared a unique blessing for you, using the special technique of their species. From now on, you will be one of the very few who can understand them. They are indeed a species full of wonders. Mm-hmm. The space station should be the best place for them. Ah, the cats. We're fighting! Uh, as for the humans and the Wobbaboos, all our lives have to go on. However, perhaps in the future, you can drop by more often to have a chat with them. 
think of it as a commemoration of this encounter. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, these cats. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I have to. I have to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, the wababoo. <laughs> Can I talk to the big Wobbaboo now? No. Damn. <sighs> All right. So there was a cry for help. Let's go do that. Man, is it just me or is every companion, or not companion mission, but every adventure mission on the space station sad? Uh, good lass, if you operate the control device over there, you can come to me. <clears throat> I've been trapped here all day. I'm hungry, thirsty, and running out of oxygen. I don't have the strength to speak. I have to reserve energy. Is there... Treasure near me? No, there's not. Okay. What? I thought it was supposed to take me to... Oh, it does, in a roundabout way. From the looks of it. Or maybe not. Because there's no other control device over here. God damn. I hate this layout. I hate this. I don't know. In theory, it's pretty cool. But... Oh my fucking god. Imagine actually working here. And needing to go all over the place. Just to get over there. You know? That's annoying. You move pretty quick, lass. There are lots of nice things in these boxes here. Help yourself. Already did. I am in a hurry. Bye! Why didn't you just turn on the switch yourself? Why didn't I turn it on myself? Ho ho, I suppose I didn't notice. Such terrible acting. What? I can't hear you clearly, lass. Speak up. Forget it, as long as you're fine. Of course I'm fine. Every muscle and bone, everything is fine. Come on, get out of the way. I can't hold it anymore. Come get me in the maintenance room if you need anything. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, that's Herta. Hello, Herta. Look, 
I don't know for how long this bottle opener has been in the toolbox. I finally found it. This bottle of soda is from four amber arrows ago. Capo Cali, so fragrant. Oh, so refreshing. Would you like a sip? Must have gone flat ages ago, right? I haven't gone flat. It, what? When I was your age, I could light Gunn's beard on fire and set up Bernard with that chick in the, in, in the Department of Insight all in one go. Sadly, I really was a bit flat in the station breakout incident. Time flies, though. Now I even forget to bring a bottle opener. I can't deny I am old. Let me tell you, the patent for this Capocali used to belong to the space station. This anti-gravity drink was once all the rage across the cosmos. I only have a few bottles left. I'd better enjoy every last sip while I still can. Oh, right. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I am Wen Tianwang, the mechanic. I am number one around here in terms of age, experience, and skills. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean Jack, because I'm the only one in the maintenance room. I had a partner once, but he was a scoundrel. Not only did he blow a big hole in the space station, but he also kept sending back these strange letters. He always blocked the bearings and made me go repair them. I never got along with that troublemaker. It's as if we were fated to be at odds with each other. Ah, Akivili must have turned their back on me. That's why I got stuck in there. I was stuck for so long it was starting to ache. Ouch. You promised to pay me. Pay? Do I look rich to you? I'm just a poor mechanic. I have been charged with dereliction of duty ever since that scoundrel made that giant hole in the station. If you want a reward, I don't have any. <laughs> However, since we've been talking this whole time and you seem agreeable enough, it's worth making an exception. Listen carefully now. What I'm going to give you is... A hundred treasure chests? Ten star rail special passes? Huh? What do you want about? I am only going to show you the way to make money. Oh god, you're guaranteed to make a fortune. As for the origin of this fortune, well, it all started with this one person. Remember the scoundrel I was just talking about? His real name is Hosea Lazaro. That old fart has a bunch of grand titles, like the former researcher in the Department of Cosmic Geography, former member of the Nameless, and member of the Armed Archaeologists. When he was still in the space station, he would boast about his inventions all day. Astro Rod, Cosmos Guide Chart, the Special Auto Radiograph, various soft drink patents. He was so arrogant and refused to obey anyone. What's more, he would get very upset whenever he saw his colleagues from the Department of Cosmic Geography being bullied by others. He would often stand up for his colleagues and start fights. Could you get to the point? <laughs> Kids these days are always so impatient. The key to having good conversations is to let things sink in. Besides, which one of my words is not on point? If you want the treasure, you have to listen to me talk first. Long story short, Hosea is famous for his craftsmanship. On one hand, it's because he likes to tinker with things in his spare time. On the other hand, it's because he would come to the ma maintenance room to learn from me almost every day. He was responsible for clearing blockages. He invented ultra-nickel parts, and he brewed Capocali. As for me, I was responsible for supervising his work. By the way, we also wrote a book together, The Art of Soda and Space Station Maintenance. We did have a good time. Yes, it really was quite good. Until one day, I was suddenly awoken up from my sleep by a terribly loud noise. That scoundrel blew a dry, giant hole in the maintenance room and flew away in an aircraft, leaving me with all the mess. Afterward, I learned from others that the fuel in the spacecraft that he used for his adventure was stolen bit by bit from my maintenance room. And this is the station breakout incident that he boasts about all over the place. It's been so many years, but whenever I think about it, I'm still so mad at him. Such a long sleep. Blah, such a long speech. I'm falling asleep. I went off topic. Yeah, that's what happens when you get old. 
Usually, I have no one to talk to, but now that I get to let it all out, I feel much better. So, what I really want to give you is the treasure map that Josia Lazaro left behind. Awesome, you should have shown me earlier. The treasure map revealed by a special auto radiograph is in black and white. Only the location of the target room is marked with a red circle. This thing was hidden in a corner somewhere in the space station. Someone found it and thought it was trash. But it ended up here with me. I tried using that old scoundrel's special technique to reveal the text, and lo and behold, it revealed the coordinates of a room. I've been told that the old scoundrel left many personal treasures in the space station. They must be hidden there. You can look for them according to the location on the map. If you can find them, then everything belongs to you. I have to go take a couple sips of Capocali and tinker around with my blazing welding gun. I wouldn't give up on that even if Akivili were to come pay me a visit. Alright. Yes, I was thinking it might be here. Damn it. The truth of life and death. Let me through. Okay, you guys are like nothing. Leave it to me. Stand down. The stars will always remember us. This should be the room shown on the treasure map. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Too late to repent. Oh, I was I'll see you off. Let me through. Let me at that treasure. Let me at the treasure, I saw it. The truth of life and death. Let me at it. Scared yet? <laughs> Let's begin. <laughs> Let's move. Repay. Eternal sleep. The dead return. So close. I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Who invited you? <laughs> Let's begin. You know nothing of survive or be destroyed. I already be gone. And of course, there's a second wave. Of course. Because nothing can ever be easy. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Leave it to me. I'll see you off. Excuse me. Divinity. Saving me won't earn you any favors. Nothing major. Time for some hardship. You chose the wrong. 
Eternal sleep. Get out of my way. I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life is sanctuary. Be gone. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I'll see you off. <laughs> Who invited you? Huh? Let's begin. Stand down. <sighs> Come on, let me get the treasure. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Saving me won't earn eternal me sleep. The dead return. I need to start working more on my DPS's. Uh, Chaz at a point where he kind of is overhealing. So I need to stop focusing on him and start focusing on my DPS's more. What's this? This cup of coffee sits silently on the table, like an elegant aristocrat. Despite being cold, it, it holds its head aloft and exudes a rich aroma. This aroma seems to have its own magic- Oh, I- I know what happens with that. I'll- I'll do that another time. I've got something important to do first. Cool. Take it if it's to your liking. To Treasure Hunters, part one. Ahu, you've been fooled. Actually, there is no treasure at all. The only big gifts are my four graffiti drafts hidden in this room. And yes, there is also a nice picture of our respected Madame Herta. You didn't expect this, did you? If you are a devout little researcher, take a deep breath. Don't get a heart attack. If you are a fun-loving young person, I suggest you collect them all. Take them out when life is bad and have some fun while studying in the Dark Tower. Laughing Hosea Lazaro. Search for the Comet Hunter's treasure in the inner parts of the cabin. Huh. To Treasure Hunters, part two. All right, if you can see this, it means you have followed my advice and that you possess the precious virtue of perseverance. I must admit, you've gone such a long way. If I don't give you something, it'll be a little mean. After all, I don't know who'd be looking for my treasure after so many amber arrows. There is a slim chance that you- that maybe you are my future champion, my spiritual successor. Wouldn't it be a pity if I accidentally hurt my friends? Seems like there's no other way. I have to show you the real treasure now. Your respected Hosea Lazaro. Okay. <laughs> to Treasure Hunters, part three. Have you ever had a soda called Capo Cali? It was once the signature of the space station, an anti-gravity drink extremely popular in the Southern Orion system. Oh, sorry. Besides my other famous inventions, like the, the Astro Rod and Cosmos Guide, 
This is another one of my masterpieces. The Interastral Peace Corporation once wanted to spend 5 million credits to buy its recipe, and, refu and I refused. Wen Huiren of the Herta Department of Implement Arts try has tried to steal the secret from me 33 times, for which he was beaten to a pulp like he deserved. Now I'll make it public once and for all. Hmm. <laughs> to Treasure Hunters, Part 4. Do not doubt your eyes. Above is this, the precious secret recipe of Capocali. I swear it on my mother's grave. If you are one of us, you will know where to decode the password above. Tip, a special method is required to reveal the text. Hosea Lazaro the Terrific. Okay, so we give that back to him. All right, as long as we're leaving this area, let's uh, do something with the coffee. Take a sip. Take another sip. Take another sip. Another. <laughs> and wake up in the med bay. <laughs> oh, I thought you got like an achievement or something for that. If it's to your liking. Oh well. Is there something if I talk to these guys? Are you awake? How are you feeling? Dizzy? What were you doing alone in such a dangerous place? Huh? The bitterness in your mouth and intermittent stomach pains leave you feeling extremely weary. You shake your head, not wanting to answer extraneous questions like that. Alright, take care of yourself and go see the doctor if you feel sick. Stay out of dangerous places. You might not be so lucky to have us save you next time. You hold your tongue, seeing the worried look on both of their faces. This must be because of that cup of coffee. You reminisce on the bitterness and sweetness that was on your tongue. It was the right thing to do to stop after a few sips. However, if you had another chance, would you still try that cup of coffee? <laughs> okay then. I assumed there was some kind of achievement tied to that or something, but it appears that there was not. Unfortunate. Did you find them? What are these? Don't get me wrong, I'm just curious. I don't believe that old scoundrel would leave us anything good. What's the paper you're holding? Oh, that's Madame Herta. Disrespectful. Really disrespectful. Give it to me and don't let the others see it. I want to keep it. Um, <laughs> try the auto radiograph. What? This treasure is also marked with the location of another treasure? What game is he playing? Let me have a look. What? This is an encrypted letter. The secret recipe of Capocali? Why, you little... Just you wait. There's enough auto-radiograph reagent. Uh, to Treasure Hunters, part four. When, my man, how are things? After I left the space station, my little birds in the Department of Cosmic Geography told me things were not... Or, why did I say it like that? Geography. <laughs> told me things that were not exactly going your way thanks to my, uh, unconventional way of doing things. Your entitlement to become the head of the Department of Implement Arts also got stripped. Uh, to add insult to injury, they put you in the maintenance room to make up for the giant hole I blew out. It is what it is. My apology would only hurt you more at this point, nor can it make up for your loss. You know me, I hate hypocrites more than anything. For years, I have been wandering amongst the stars, and I can't remember how many times I thought of writing to you. But I've heard that of all the people working in the station, you hate Hosea Lazaro the most. What's the point of sending you a letter, knowing very well that you would not read it? That's why I sneaked back to the station some time ago and set up this puzzle for you to solve. All this fuss just to make sure you get the letter. Now, it's time that I hand over the secret recipe of Capocali to you. Sell it to the IPC. They'll make it worth your while. Some sort of compensation from me, I guess. 
I wish you well in the rest of your journey. Secret recipe of Capo Cali. Caramel, carbon dioxide, peanuts, Canterbury bells, interdimensional leaves, ambergris, and orchid zest. Yes, you are seeing it right. Above is the secret recipe of Capo Cali. I swear on my mom's life that it's authentic. If you are one of us, you'll know how to decrypt it. Got it too. Yep. Okay. What's he playing at, that old scoundrel? Ah, just forgive him already. Enough. This is between us two old farts. Young people shouldn't get involved. And besides, when I said I hated him, I said it in the heat of the moment. Of course, I never cared about all the mess he left me with. Ever since I was young, I never liked academic research and dealing with the Department of Implement Arts. My biggest wish was to hide in this maintenance room and play with the tools. Work when I wake up and sleep when I get tired. In my opinion, dealing with machines is much more fun than dealing with people. But so many people have come and gone through this space station over the years, with the exception of Hosea. So I was angry that the old scoundrel didn't share his breakout plan with me. Not even a little bit. Aren't we brothers? Shouldn't brothers be able to talk about anything? Nevertheless, it's been so many years. I have long since learned to let it go. On the contrary, whenever I hear about what kind of trouble he's making outside, I really do feel happy for him. He was born to run amok all over the cosmos. You were very enlightened. One has got to learn to let it go eventually. So, after all that, the treasure is just this recipe, lass. What do you think? You keep it as a memento. I do not want it! Unless you insist, then may maybe I'll consider taking it home. It is very important to you. Well, in that case, let me show you something. Let me see these ingredients. I suppose I can find some in the warehouse if I look hard enough. Come on, a big bucket of fresh capocali. That's the taste. Just take these sodas with you. They can refresh your mind and strengthen your body. Lass, you're the only one who would talk to me yet, ever since Hosea left. If you're interested in that old scoundrel, you can look around the space station again and see if you can find some of those old letters he sent back. Those letters are filled with his bragging. That guy just wants more people to hear his nonsense. <laughs> Uh, old people are like that. Haha, <laughs> you little brat. Alright, enough chit chat. From now on, whenever you're free. Ha, huh, just remember to come more often to chat with me. Although I don't have much of anything here, you and I have an agreement. Whenever you pop in, there will always be enough Capo Cali for you. Alright. Shall we do another one here upon the space station? I believe we shall. It's hard for a wanderer to find rest in this All world. Its staff discount prices. Uh, we meet again. Are you here for a vacation this time? Feel free to take the seat next to me and have a break. Uh, as long as I'm here, I want to purchase items from the shop. I haven't uh, bought stuff from here for a little bit. Oh, I need these. Although these are just the uh, the shitty two-star versions, but it's better than nothing. Uh, what else do I need? Beauty. Beauty. Hunt. Oh, I think I can get all of these. Oh. I got most of them. Ooh, a lot of tasty rewards. Oh, baby. Oh, ho, ho. How many 
rewards are there total? Oh, wow. Okay, then. Alright. Uh, I heard you need help here. The Majestic Legion. The Chaos in Herta. The Curio Cabinet. We can never seem to get a break from it all. Time to bid farewell to research and retire to a quiet, leisurely life. Happy and free. <laughs> ah, I see you're a lady of culture as well. You've also come out here to unwind and even pick the same spot as me. It's not often you get the chance to waste time like this. Enjoy it while you can. If not for all the turmoil going on, I would still be locked up in the cabin doing their so-called research. I've already made it this far, and with a head full and with a full head of hair at that, no need to worry about other people living better than you, and the worst that can happen is we all perish together. Look at it this way. Even if there's a neutrino burst that heralds destruction, it's still worth it to see such a beautiful sight. I'm so happy now, now to be able to freely waste my own life. Just so happy. Do you need help with anything? What do you say? You've already shared some of my joy, so you may as well share some of my chores. We in the Department of Implement Arts have received orders to take stock of the various losses of the space station. That includes evaluating areas like the railway platform. All assets damaged by the Legion in the area, whether mobile or immobile, must be photographed and reported to the IPC. My hands are full already, so why don't you lend me one? Don't worry, there will be something in it for you too. I'll be on my way then. Hmm, and I'll be waiting for you here, humming some tunes. The cosmos is indeed a sight to behold. Okay. A photo of the Astral Express. And a broken robot. Oh, they're both down here. All right, there's the broken robot. And there's the express. Simple enough. For a wanderer to find rest. Only her terrium are accepted for payment. Uh, I took a picture of everything. Back already? You're fast. Here, I have plenty of blank space in this ledger. Let's see what you managed to capture. Uh, the Astral Express. Well, strictly speaking, the Express isn't part of the space station. Hey, you're one of the Express folk, right? I'll do you a favor and add its damages to the books. Uh, the Broken Robot. A streamlined body, a silver-white metallic luster. Is this the robot that Asta ordered? I have to admit, she has great taste. Are these enough? More or less. I've put it all in the ledger. You can take a look now. Um. Oh, that's a lot. Are you done yet? Don't just nose around. There are only a few lines that concern you. And if there's nothing wrong, I'll take the photos. There are thousands of items on that list. You don't say. And the IPC will reimburse every one of them. There's no need to be coy about it. I see. Okay, I'll sort out the ledger for submission later. You should go get some rest. I see what you're up to, dude. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna be able to uh, finish up all our Herta space station missions. Aha, I see. The extent of fragmentum corrosion in this zone is very severe and even the terminal devices recently broke. Establishing a remote connection is the only way to go in, but that requires beacon data. Uh, I guess you're sent here by lead researcher Asta. Awesome. 
please do us a favor and collect data from the beacons inside. Please. It's quite dangerous in there. But if you're ready, just let me know. Let's go. Uh huh? Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, this is a, a much bigger thing than I thought it was. Um, we'll go do something else then and dedicate the whole video just to that one. At some point. It's hard for oh. a wanderer to find rest in this world. Beto, you said you're back at the space station? There's something that I can only talk to you about. If it's not too much trouble, could you come over for a chat? Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> no, no, it's not anything weird. I just need to discuss something with you in person. Since it's kind of embarrassing to talk about it over messaging. I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Please hurry. Oh, this is a companion mission. Huh. Well, these both want me to talk to Asta. Well, I guess we'll do this next time then. And we'll just end this episode here. So, I'll see you all next time.